ఐ ఎమ్ డాక్టర్ కొట్లాడి సురేంద్ర శెట్టి కన్సల్టెంట్ స్పైన్ సర్జన్ పైన్ కేర్ అండ్ ఆర్థో కేర్ హాస్పిటల్ మాగడి రోడ్ రాజాజీ నగర్ బెంగళూరు ద క్వశ్చన్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఈస్ డిస్క్ డెసికేషన్ ద డిస్క్ ఈజ్ ఎ స్ట్రక్చర్ వీ కెన్ సీ హియర్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ఎ బోన్ వర్టబ్రా so the spinal bone is called vertebra and this is another vertebra in between the vertebra we have got a structure called the disc it is a soft uh, material made up of cartilage so it has got the capacity to hold the weight like it is not as soft it's not like a cotton or a sponge so that it compresses as soon as the weight falls no it is it has got it is soft so that it can flex it can bend in any direction but it is as hard as it can bear a weight also this character is because of the water content inside the disc but as the aging occurs or as there is a stress on the disc repeated stress the water content in the disc decreases so it becomes dries up in other words it gets desiccated desiccation means the decreasing of the water content inside the disc and the disc becoming dry and once it gets desiccated or becomes dry it loses that capacity it is like a worn off spring the spring which is giving enough load when it is loaded when it it is uh like it is holding the weight suppose it becomes weak it collapses similarly a desiccated disc collapses when the weight is fallen like that is why the patients with back pain or low back pain or the upper back pain or the neck pain they experience more pain when they are sitting when they are standing when there is a load on the spine and they get less pain or the pain totally disappears when they lie down that is because the loading is not there when the loading is not there the disc spreads out when the loading occurs spring disc compresses this is called desiccation then then the same question we can find uh, what is a disc bulge when is a cervical disc bulge pressing upon the ventral thecal sac so when the disc collapses when the disc is desiccated the weight is fallen on the disc it collapses when it collapses the vertical dimension decreases as well as the horizontal dimension increases because that volume has to be contained somewhere so when it is when it collapses the vertical dimension decreases horizontal dimension increases when the horizontal dimension increases it stretches the outer discs and it presses upon the thecal sac thecal sac means the sac which contains the nerve fibers which com- com- contains the spinal cord see this is the one so the disc will be situated here the spinal cord uh, is situated here when the disc bulge occurs it presses like this and it indents the thecal sac indentation means just pressing it indents making a dent so indents the thecal sac then the question of what is wedging wedging is wedge shaped vertebra the normal vertebra is a cuboidal in shape like the anterior border and the posterior border both are equal it is like a cuboid but when there is a pressure when a patient falls falls or suddenly bends and develop a, a fracture in the vertebra what happens the posterior margin retains its length or height anterior margin decreases so the the vertebra which was in this shape when there is a fracture when there is a, a fall or a, something so it, it takes the shape of this shape it is a trapezoidal trapezoidal shape so anterior posterior border is having a more height than anterior border front border so this is called wedging the wedge shaped vertebra so this can happen in a single vertebra or it can happen in a multiple vertebra